bien, nous allons passer maintenant, maintenant qu'on s'est chauffé. Ok, so now that we are all warmed up and that we talked about the Frogan Slab, we are moving to the Frogan's Awards. So I'm calling the co-organizers Jean-Manuel Rodriguez and Aurelien Prop, both sponsors of the event. Merci Aurélien. Thank you very much Aurélien. It's a great pleasure to be here on stage with you. Thank you for demonstrating your know-how as an administrator, especially for Thomas, who must be delighted to have this Frogan's address. And thank you for organizing this competition with OP3FT. And thanks for being on the jury. And thank you again for being here for the presentation of the awards. It is my pleasure. And I hope that uh, Thomas can find somebody who will support him for the development of his uh, Frogan Star Parasol address. Do you want, would you like us to talk about Gin Kit and your FC account administrator business. Well, we have lots of ambition. At the moment, we are FCR account administrator, so we make it possible for those who want to use the Frogan's technology to register dedicated networks, to register uh, uh, addresses on public domains. And we also support people who want to design their site. We also provide hosting services, and the winners will have free addresses and hosting services for one year for their sites to be available to everyone. And then we have lots of other projects. Alexi was uh, demonstrating authoring tools. I hope we can embark on this uh, uh, journey and that we can come up with an all-in-one kind of solution with uh, Frogan sites, uh, design, creation, and hosting services. Thank you. And on top of the Frogan star addresses, you as Jinkit own Frogan's networks. Absolutely. We've uh, registered a certain number of networks like GovStar, Ski Star, Club Star, and Hotel Star, and Data Star very recently. And on Data Star, I am thinking about something that would be. Uh, would, would be a crowd-based kind of system around data generation to, it would be kind of crowdfunding thing, type of thing, if you want to have the representation of a stock market index or of an energy consumption or a city or a country. So maybe we could work with open data to fund the uh, registration of an address and then design a site. So on data, the idea is to be very much open and to create a community. And if we want to contact you, is, is it on, do you have a website? Yes, it's frogans underscore editors and um, fer.ginkit.fr. Thank you for organizing this uh, competition because you're the ones uh, presenting the awards. I'm representing OP3FT, but I'm just the uh, representative here. And uh, Aurélien, you're representing Ginkit. Now, if we talk about the competition, how did it go? Well, very quickly, as I said, as of the, as, no, sorry, uh, on the website of our conference, you had a possibility to provide a uh, Frogan site locally created with FSDL 3.1 as it existed two weeks ago. This competition was launched two weeks ago. 
you had until yesterday noon Paris time to submit your projects. We received projects. We are going to show you the projects tonight. They will be tested, demonstrated as soon as possible. We'll give you the background that the designers gave us. After this presentation, we'll take a very short break and we'll show other Frogan's site, which are not in competition, so that you have time to think. And then we'll show you the seven selected Frogan sites and the three that you will assess as being the best. And this is well, this will be set through your applause. They will be rewarded by Jinkit. Absolutely. And trust me, these are beautiful uh, creations, both from a graphic and from a t technical perspective. So, Philip, can we start with the presentation of the Frogan's projects? Uh, oui, donc premier uh, candidat. Merci. So, so the first uh, contestant is uh, from Côte d'Ivoire. The site was developed by uh, Gislain Kwasi called uh, Malaria. So let me just pull it up. Alors, on va fermer le chariot. Ah, et là on a un problème d'image. Alors en effet, on aperçoit ce So, triangle rouge et blanc. You have the red triangle, red and white triangle which you will see frequently if you are uh, uh, this is a place solar image. So this is the image solar uh, Fro Frogan's player will provide if it can't find the uh, image resource which should normally be there. Let me reload it. Alors il faut savoir que les sites qui nous ont été soumis So the sites that were submitted to us since Frogan's player can now access uh, 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 sites online, we've put them remotely. So this is not how they were submitted. We're using the very latest player, the 0 0.5.1. Well, obviously, we are having a problem. Um, on remettra les on les remettra en local sur l'ordinateur l'autre ordinateur. Maybe we can put them locally on another computer if it doesn't work. Absolus. Et Absolus a été so This one is called Absolus. It was submitted to us by a, a consulting company called Absolus Consulting. Absolus Conseil. And we have two bottles of Bordeaux wine, and there is a button, so this is some um, advertising for the company. Never seen anything like this before. Wow. And then there is another button right here, and this allows you to open up the, the label, which is on the second button. And the label contains different fields. Derrière ça, c'était pouvoir présenter quelles sont les mentions légales, obligatoires, donc en rouge et optionnel. So in red, you have the sur sur une étiquette de vin. The information which must be on a bottle of wine, for example, the appellation d'origine contrôlée, the amount of alcohol. Um, the and then the fact it's bottled on site, that is optional. Uh, that's why it is blue and not red when highlighted. Je ne crois pas. 
Okay, we'll pause so, it. But I don't think the wine actually exists. Well, not to my knowledge. I haven't received any bottles so far. Pendant qu'on s'affaire en cuisine sur le premier, je vais fermer et je vais appeler. Alors, l'aptique. Euh, test étoile. L'aptique. Alors, ici, c'est un peu particulier. On a eu. Ok, then we have this one. Deux entrées qui ont fait. Laboratoire de développement. So, aptique is um, part of an entity, is coming from an entity at the Humphrey Boigny University in Abidjan. Unfortunately, once again, um, with the video projector, we are not getting what we should be getting. If you're online, you should have high quality resolution. Um, but uh, what we're getting here does not do justice to uh, the original. So this site describes the activities of this uh, IT lab. Uh, if you click on P, we have this information, uh, technology lab, an, an IT lab. If you click on a, you get a news update. So this is the, the startup weekend which was held in Abidjan in uh, December. F is formation, which is training in French. And if you click further, you have different slides and C for contacts. And you have Twitter at laptic underscore ci. So for this one, we actually received two sites uh, coming from two members of laptic. So I would like to show you the other one as well. So, here we have another Frogans site made by the same organization but different students, different format, um, different navigation or browsing experience. Here's a map. You have information which you pay for, you have free information. No need to click. All you need to do is to move your arrow above it. So this is Laptic INP. So let's come back to the previous one. So it was our mistake. As I said, uh, the Frogan sites are on the server. But we forgot some images during the transfer. Therefore, it is our fault. There we go. So this is the malaria one. So you have that. You can see that it's transparent. You can see through it. So we have a mosquito. And you have four buttons you can click on, on in each corner. If you click on the first one, you get the, the symptoms of malaria. And you have this button, which takes you back to first page, first slide. You have the doctor, this is, uh, if you see a medical doctor, 
So again, fragrance sites, as you can see, can be very helpful to disseminate um, health-related information. In Africa, for example, there are uh, uh, very remote areas where they, where people don't necessarily have access to information, and fragrance can be a fragrance site can be very helpful, especially when you have limited limited bandwidth, when there's no 3G or 4G, for example. Absolutely. And again, this is information that would be available on all devices. 90% of uh, internet connections in Côte d'Ivoire and Senegal are on mobile phones. Okay, look like we had a little glitch there again. So, once again, when you get an, an error message like this, the oops, that is normal. Again, this is an alpha version, which still has a few bugs that we have yet to uh, identify. So, right now we're running on Mac OS 10. So, this could happen. It's not very serious, but it's important to report a bug like this. So there's a small error code somewhere. All you need to do is to uh, do a screenshot and uh, or go to Ernie li list and uh, we will then address these uh, anomalies. There's been one release every week since September, simply because we've been getting a lot of feedback from our users, and thanks to the feedback, we're able to detect these small anomalies, and we can then fix them. Obviously, we don't want any 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 bugs like this. Okay, so um, we're back on the site. Uh, uh, so here we have information on the different geographies that are impacted by malaria. Somebody's asking to see the site as a vignette. It's uh, the same thing without the, the buttons. Uh, as you know, if you're uh, a real uh, Expert, the the button disappeared disappears when you are in the vignette mode. So, um, if there is anything else you'd like us to do, please let us know. Okay, we can display it, show it in different ways. So let me repeat this. Gwendal's asking to open a window on the side, once again to get that transparency effect. Maybe we could open a PDF. Well, this PDF is white, so... Well, there is no transparency here. Okay, so no transparency there. Okay. Okay, could we come back to the home slide? So, this is transparent. You see, the home slide is transparent. No sound? Sur le home slide. On the home slide, the vignette uh, looks like uh, a small emergency, medical emergency bag, like a doctor's bag. 
Voilà, si le concepteur de malaria nous regarde. So, if the malaria designer is uh, listening, is watching. Désolé pour l'erreur de Manip qui est de notre fait. We apologize for uh, the mishandling and hopefully we uh, we did show all your work. Je vais maintenant appeler donc le 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 e Ok, so let's move on to the fifth site. Euh, qui nous vient lui de, de France, il s'appelle FSDL. Et c'est un site bien pratique. This one's from France. Pour la simple raison qu'il reprend. So this is, this is an interesting one. En tout cas, certains contenus. Because it has some of the content that can be found in the recap document on frogons.org. Uh, right, right. Uh, this looks much more practical, much more convenient. The recap document is a 20-page document, I believe, which contains all the all information on FSDL. It's not a spec. It's not comprehensive. It doesn't have a full description, for example, of all elements, but it's a, it's a good overview. There will be, there's information on all elements and all attributes and the values that can be attributed. So, um, if you do not have the, the, the uh, Joe's blog available, you can use this. So, each markup is a button. Let's pick one, this one, for example. So, once you click on it, you have the attributes and the, the values. This is quite impressive. This is uh, what FSDL developers read before going to bed at night. And I think it even has the date, the date of the uh, FSDL. Le fameux élément next, premier élément. The next, which was the first dynamic element of the FSDL. So next can be set between 5 and 86,400, which I believe is 24 hours. That's the delay. Set font. Let's see if it has a vignette. The buttons disappear, as you can see. And uh, I just realized the, the shadow. Uh, notice the... Uh, as if it, it's, it's hovering above your desktop. Um, there are a lot of slides, a lot of slides, and even comments. Was this generated dynamically? Um, I, I, was it generated with CSV files or, or was it created manually? I don't know. We should ask um, its author. We received it as is with all the, all the attributes that were required. So that was it. Um, we could probably ask. Uh, maybe he could contribute to uh, Joe's blog. Voilà. Est-ce que vous voulez quelques actions particulières pour ce site Is there anything you'd like us to do I think, I think the date is it, it looks like a cutout. Ah oui, bien oh, it is, it is. Donc c'est un livre avec des trous. Ah, I see. Okay, so it's a book with holes punched in it. Okay, that is something that's something you can't do with an actual book. Well, I suppose you can. I suppose you can. Not with a web page, though.
Ok. Parfait. Alors, euh... Donc gardez bien tous les candidats en tête. Ok, so remember the, uh, the different projects we look at. Try to keep them in mind. Sorry, this comment was made off mic. Obviously, the chairman of OP3FT is uh, very interested in some of the sites. So, so you can see the buttons disappear when you narrow it down to the vignette format. That's the second one. Donc, euh, le cinquième. Je garde compte parce que je crois qu on, qu on so this was number five. On a un autre site de Côte Then we have another one from Côte d'Ivoire. This is uh, more of a tourist site, or tourism, travel site. Here we go. As you can see, the shape of the slide is the shape of the country. And on the map, you can click on different cities in different regions of the country. And when you do, you get this. You get one picture along with some text. And um, I, I read the content and I learned uh, quite a few things. Bassam. So we have transparency on around and the vignette. Once you narrow it down to the vignette, you keep the same country shape without the buttons. Des remarques sur ce site Fogats. Any comments? La fameuse basilique de Yamoussoukro. Voilà. Je me dis, ça me donne envie d'y aller. Alors. Ensuite, je vous propose euh, un autre site, à moins qu'il y ait d'autres commentaires ou questions. Ok, any questions, any comments, before we move on to the next one euh, Test, étoile, alpha, géo. Alors, pour test étoile alpha géo. So, this one... Um, we were told that one of the authors of this one's in the room. Maybe we could call this person. Yes. Um. Jesse. Jesse Bana. So, Jesse Bana is uh, part of One Punch Mania. They're a group of students, right? Yes, you're with the University Polytech uh, from Tour. Is that correct? Yes. How many members? Seven in total. And tell us about this story. How did you develop this one? Or did you develop several? Well, a few months ago, we were part of La, La Nuit de l'Info, which was an event, and uh, they organized a contest. The contest was to develop a fragrance site. 
So this is how we became familiar with the with with, fr with the fragrance fragrance technology. So we took part of the, in the contest, and then this one. So let's take a look at it. Not all buttons take to additional content, only the ones that are blue. Is that correct? Yes. So we have a list of different geometric shapes, starting with C, and each one is a button. So let's click on the easy stuff to start. So what's this? Well, <laughs> It's a cube, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> On this slide, we are describing the geometry of a cube. The number of faces, edges, and uh, vertices. We have, in fact, designed so we designed the cube using Frogan's technology, RefPath. It was quite complicated because we had to create a script in Python. And that is how we got the dotted lines and all the rest. I see. So, is this what you use to cheat during a math test at school? Well, you could. You could. <laughs> you know, you never know. You know, if you, if you can't remember something, I guess you could use it to cheat during a test. I guess it's a good way for people to remember their math or geometry lesson. So what else can we do? Well, we can, you can go back to the home page. We have different tabs you can use to travel or, or browse through um, the, the information. Curvy linear triangle. Pour ceux qui, comme moi, sont essayés un petit peu au respace, c'est un bel exploit, hein, parce que c'est pas facile. Well, respace is not easy. Um, this, these guys did a good job. Well, thanks to uh, Frogan's A-Lab, we were able to do this. It was very helpful. Is there one page you're really proud of? How many pages are there? Oh, I haven't counted. I haven't counted. Many. <laughs> And connecting the pages. Um, okay, here we have a small error. I guess the one I, I, th I think, what I really like about this is the logo. Yes. That one, representing Alpha Geo. Uh, Alpha, you have the Alpha logo, and then you have the um, the planet. So, you said there were seven members in your group. Uh, who did what? Well, two were doing the design. It was William and myself. And then Remy. Remy was doing the brainstorming. I guess we, we had a we had group brainstormings, but it's really by working all together that we were able to come up with uh, produce uh, you know the content. Okay, how much time did it take you? Do you, could you give us an estimate? Um, wow, I don't know. Let me think. Maybe four days. Any questions? Well, I have a question. You did scripts to generate this high number of pages. Do you think it would have been helpful to have a, a programming language like PMP 
for example, to make it easier. Ah, bien évidemment, si ça avait été euh, codé dans un langage. Well, I suppose if it's a language that I know, um, I would have, yeah. Le, le concours. J'ai voulu créer. As a matter of fact, at the beginning of the contest, I was going to create a, a Frogans slide generator. But then I realized that coding was probably faster. When we started the project, we were, uh, you know, running out of time, so we had to do we had to do it quickly. So are you going to do some more testing now that Frogon sites are becoming dynamic? The fact that they're accessible on, on on servers. Yes, yes, absolutely. What did you think about the software libraries? Is that something you're interested in? Oh yes, absolutely. Java libraries. Oh yeah, we we were, were very very excited. Okay, any questions? Il pas de formule pour les œufs. <laughs> ah oui. <laughs> 10 minutes pour un œuf dur, mais à part ça. <laughs> okay, it took 10 minutes for a hard boiled egg. But apart from that, not much to say. Non, non, peur. Anything you wanted to add? No, I'm fine. Any uh, any uh, other plans to develop Frogan's uh, site? Right, right now, no. But there are many things that can be done with Frogan's. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so we've seen the seven finalists of this uh, Frogan's Award competition. And before we move to the awards, we wanted to show two other sides which are not in competition, but they're very good examples of a Frogan site design. One of them was developed for a very specific event, which is a dinner. So we'll call Sébastien Bachelier. He's going to tell us more about it. And the other one was developed by the Hesta group. If you've been with the Frogan's technology conferences for a while, they were with us on conference number three and number four, and they are uh, always with us. But first of all, Sébastien Bachelier, who is going to make a presentation of the Seb Chef site. Thank you. Good evening. So we'll switch computers. So I've done nothing on these sites. So if there is anyone you want to congratulate, it's Joe, because he's the one who designed the sites. So I did nothing. All I did was invite people to have dinner at my home. And this led to these uh, vignettes and sites. So if you don't mind, well, this one, don't open it. It's not worth it. That's just my face. OK, you can open the first page. Are you saying we should not open the jar? No, but as you can see, there is this called the Seb's jars, and for each dish I prepared, you have a bottle of wine and a delicacy from the Loire Valley, because this is where I cook, because this is where I have a holiday home. So I prepared starters, it was a pâté, and you can see bread made with um, my bread making bread maker. That's something I do on a regular basis. And then if you click on the first bottle, you have the first bottle that um, goes along with the pâté. And if you want to taste a wine, you have information as to how it's made, the flavours you need to be looking for, you know. 
if you like wine. So these are two sites that you need to eat and drink at the same time. Absolutely, you're right. I did the one to the left. The one to the right, quite happily, L'Orgivet helped me because I don't drink any alcohol, so all I can do is talk about it. Then we had starters. Ce que je voudrais préciser aussi, c'est que ce que vous voyez, c'est que tout ça sont dans des bocaux, c'est pour ça le titre du, du, du Frogant, mais c'est aussi, euh, il a des formes, des formes différentes, et euh, je ne sais pas si vous les connaissez. Well, I don't know if you've seen, but these are not the traditional jars that you'd find. So, it's le parfait, that's great. These are the usual, uh, very traditional brand, but these are the ones that I found. Then we had a beetroot and a beet and celery soup. Then we had uh, this uh, you had uh, meat and cabbage from the local farm. So I cooked and it was with a Chardonnay wine or red wine. And then we had dessert and uh, well, also, okay, other things. And then we had apple puree with a sparkling wine. And then you have the bottle with the wine in question. And and you have the developer of this uh, Frogan site. It was a very friendly night. And then we talked about the Frogan's technology, and then we had a drink, and then... Uh, but it's not on this computer, for this, for your info. I also had prepared pancakes. Maybe some of you tried it. On one of my pancakes, there was an OP3F3, but because um, I just enjoy making pancakes at any time in the year. Thank you. But that's my pastime because people tell you that I'm in charge of the internet governance, but don't believe them, don't trust them. Et maintenant, nous accueillons so, Etienne. Now, Etienne Candet, one of the uh, founding members of the ESTA group. So, Etienne, you've been working with the project for quite a while. And you're working with a group of graphic artists, developers, researchers. It's kind of a multidisciplinary group working on the Frogan's technology. So you attended our last conference with uh, mock-ups. No, not the last, the next but last. Okay, sorry. And since FSDL arrived, you uh, worked on proofs of concept and um, you're going to present one. So, we were with the, we came up with, last time we came with three uh, sites. Conference 5, we showed the work that we do for Ginkit, for Aurelien. Um, we worked on a golf course. And these are projects uh, which are almost achieved. This is a concept that we are working on at the moment with Cyril Rimbaud, who made a demo last time as well. And he joined us since then. Thank you for that. So, and we are working on Frogan's technology. I mean, we'll talk about the graphics afterwards, but this is really the first step with regards to this first project. So, uh, it's multidisciplinary, and 
communication. Of course, there is uh, law, there is communication, and a lot of design. And you need to really get a good understanding of what this technology is about and what will be possible. And uh, we also want to support OP3FT, of course. But we also need to identify uh, production uh, technologies. And anyone who'd be interested can be in touch with us because we do, we work on analysis and we even provide a service in, addra in address registration. So, okay, I, w I won't speak more because um, I just want to show you what we do. So, of course, we have this mock-up, which is not yet dynamic. It's strictly static at the moment, but this is the kind of thing that can be done for a specific given product or project. The idea was to have a monitor, kind of a dashboard, and with a small app on a phone or a small companion. And small is important here. Because you show displays, you don't care about the size, but very honestly, it has to be small and it can be displayed through notifications. But you need to be able to follow it on the monitor, small size monitor, to follow up on flows in real time. So, for FTC4, we made a presentation for this companion for real time info. This would be for reports issued by a company or public data flows that are sometimes very useful. So, so this is the small format. So let's imagine that this uh, retail store company Let's call it Quasino, and this would be a retail chain providing real-time information to allow monitoring the inventories, the orders or demonstrations or traffic events that can have an impact on their business. So we, talk, we thought about this site, which would be really in real time. So right now I want to know what's the turnover of my supermarket. This is the supermarket for one given site, but you can even uh, think about com competing sites. So these are activity trackers which can be modulated. So here I can follow up on the sales in Bagnolet, but I can have other kind of information about the shop, about the supermarket, what it does, its business. And you can have uh, data visuals that are updated on a regular basis in order to report this to a sales index, uh, average price, to be as close as possible to the actual business of the, sh of the supermarket. So this is very light, two slides, one button. But if you can compute the flow button brings you back to the first screenshot. So from this type of mock-up, you can start thinking about a site that would be dynamic with the possibility to refresh the images, to have graphs changing, evolving from one second to the next, if need be. So that's work in progress, really. but. Um, it was very nice to do that, and of course we needed more time than the time available. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you so much, Etienne. So, other sites, other sites, all this is very inspiring. So, once again, Esther and Sebastian have not 
entered their site in the competition. We just wanted to show them to you because they're nice, um, quite tasty for at least two of them, but they're not part of the competition. Aurélien, where are you? I am here. Non, l'heure est joyeuse. L'heure est joyeuse, pardon alors. <laughs> Nous avons vu sept sites frogans. Okay, this is the time. We've seen six frogans. Seuls trois. And only three will be rewarded tonight. As for the others, thank you so much. That was very kind. Try again next time because unfortunately we have three winners tonight. It's not OP3FT nor Jinkit who is going to make the decision. You are by applauding the projects. So get ready. So let's look at them once again. And if you need more details, this is when you can ask. So we are looking at them, all of them, one last time, and then we can vote. Now, I thought Philip meant you s we see them <laughs> one by one. So this one. Premier site, test étoile. So the first one is test star Milaria, submitted by. Je suis euh, dans un état. Ah, mais. Proche de la fièvre. So nervous. Alors, je vais lever le bras. So, I'm going to. Ra Après, je laisserai Aurélien parce que je ne peux pas supporter. To raise my arm so that you can applaud on my go. When I drop it, you applaud. For test on malaria. Now! Fifteen. Je crois que c'est un petit peu réglé sévère. I think your calibration was a bit, you know, strict. But it's been calibrated, so don't you change the settings. Good luck for other sites because, you know. You'll, you've noticed that we remain very quiet. We can't be part of the jury. Test étoile Absolus. Test star Absolus. OK. Ready. Steady. Go. Leader qui reste quand même test étoile malaria. So we have a leader test star malaria at 15. This one at 14. C'est génial. That's great. Such fun. Alors quel est le suivant, Philippe? So what's the next? Le premier laptique. Est-ce que tout le monde l'a en tête vous So, do you all remember that? Okay. Are you fine? Am I giving the go? Ready, steady, go. Ok, un petit disque qui le classe troisième pour la... Ok, ten. So, that's number three out of three. Jean-Emmanuel n'en peut plus. So much stress on him, Jean-Emmanuel. Le deuxième. The second one. Four. 
from Laptic. C'est à vous pour le deuxième Laptic. Go! Bon, donc, donc un score de 8. OK, 8. Très mal noté. Hein. You know what? If you continue like that, the last ones will hardly get to 1. Ça va de mal en pire. J'ai vu que vous aviez la fièvre pour la malaria. Yeah, I realized you all had a fever for malaria. You all got very kind of warmed up. So the FSDL reminder with holes punched in it. Oh, you kind of like the book with holes. Bah, bravo! Nous avons... Well, congratulations! We have a new leader with 31. FSDL reminder comes up first. Absolutely. So, right now, FSDL reminder is number one, Destar Malaria, and then Absolus. Absolutely. Yes, I confirm. Ivory Coast, je crois, celui-ci. This one is the Ivory Coast. Pour Ivory Coast. For the Ivory Coast. Eh bien, Ivory Coast est écoute. Ivory Coast comes out third, equal third. Do we have any room in that case? We'll see. We've still got other sites that we need to vote for. Des suggestions <laughs> On revote. <laughs> Qui a dit Let's vote again. Who said that? No, stop, stop it. I'll die. If we do that, I die. Alpha Geo. Alpha Geo. Ah bah. Ça, c'est un bel effet next. <laughs> so that's a beautiful next effect, isn't it? Bon, c'était le site qui, est venu, qui a été présenté par Jesse. So this was presented by Jesse. JC. So for Alpha Geo. Carton plein, je crois, pour Alpha Geo. La soix OK, 71 for Alpha Geo. That's a clear winner. C'est plus que quand on a demandé de faire tout à l'heure le maximum. It's more than when you tested you at your maximum. That's quite impressive, isn't it? On a tout vu. I think we've seen every, everything. No, yes, we, we have. And we've got three winners. Super. Well, that's great. And they win the latest iPhone? No, just not kidding. It's Alpha Geo as a clear winner. Second is FSDL Reminder and Malaria that comes third. Yes, so we have three winners. So I'm being very solemn now. So it's Alpha Geo number one, with Jesse who came here. I hope you were the ones applauding very loud. Then FSDL reminder, second, and Malaria in third position at 15. And thank you all for playing ball with us. Aurélien, would you like to remind us of what people won? 
Yes, if you give me a hand. My pleasure. Alors, Philippe. But this is only going to increase the value of the award. No, stop kidding. I just wanted to mention the names of the designers. Malaria was presented by Michel Jongoran from Izoa. FSDL Reminder was submitted by Vincent de Kestec and Alpha Geo by a team represented by Jesse Banner. So the, the prize, yes, I just remembered what the prizes were. So each winning team gets five public, so they get registration of their of, for five uh, Frogan's address plus hosting for one year. If you are working with a university, a company, etc., there is also five addresses for the organization you work with. And Emmanuel, there are addresses reserved for people who would have retweeted because there was a Twitter competition also, but I can't remember exactly how it was organized. So the people who were submitting their Frogans also had an opportunity to Pardon. submit their Twitter account. And the largest number of times the site is tweeted, five Twitters will get a free Frogan's address. So, of course, for technical reasons, we can't uh, look at these uh, tweets right today, but be assured, rest assured that we will do that very soon. So we need to figure out the number of tweets and retweets, and it's a bit complex because some retweeted the message that had to be retweeted, others didn't. So we'll try and be fair, but five Twitter uh, mem members of the Twitter community will be winning. And for Malaria, Laptic, the, it's the Laptic organization that wins five Frogan's addresses for a public network. Okay? Thank you. Congratulations. So the winners, some are here, others are with us through the video. They will get an email to tell them about the verdict of this court and tell them that they won. And they will get the links and contacts, details with for Jinkit so that they can register their Frogan's address as soon as they want to do so. Okay, well, this is the end of our competition. Merci beaucoup. It's been a hard time for me, full of stress. Thank you, Aurelian. Well, thank you. Thank you. It was very nice to see so much creativity at play around this uh, beautiful technology.